What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to spoof your location on your iPhone for each application that requires location. So you will be able to spoof the location using a tool in here called iMyPhone Any2. And this works for games which require your location, you know, AR games, which means artificial reality games, social media and stuff like that. And it can even fake the location on Google Maps. And of course, this can also be used to bypass geo-restricted content and stuff like that, to mock the location on dating apps, to hide the iPhone location, you know, for privacy reasons, and share a virtual location on social platforms. Now, the tool in here has two very interesting things. It has the two-spot mode, which basically allows you to simulate you going on a street, for example, from point A to point B. And this is very useful, for example, as to show in here for AR games which require you to actually move and then you have multi spot mode in here which allows you to set various locations and points of interest and stuff like that but this one allows you to go not only on streets you can even cross uh, the ocean or mountains or you know fields and stuff like that so you can basically go whenever you want to go that's what the multi spot mode is for and you can have up to 100 spots in here so you can create like fake journeys for your applications so that you can play various games that require you to move into a location. Now, as I said, the tool is called iMyPhone Any2, and it can change the GPS location to anywhere instantly without a jailbreak. This is actually quite cool. You can plan a route on the map and move along it with customized speed, and it's available for both Windows and Mac OS. But anyways, this is compatible with the latest iPhones and also with the latest iOS versions, including 13.5.1, and as I said, no jailbreak is needed. Once you install it, it looks like this. It has the uh, little map pin in there, and when you start it, it looks like this. You press get started and you have to connect your phone, unlock it first. Uh, in my case it's locked so let me unlock it. There we go, we press OK in here and it should connect with no problem. And it will load the uh, location your phone has currently, in my case it's basically showing Milano in here in Italy. And in here you can enter an address or GPS coordinates and it will change the phone's location to that. So this is actually quite cool, when you activate the location after this, your phone will believe that you are in the place that you specified in here rather than whenever you are in real life. So if you say you're in Alaska, it will believe that you are in Alaska and it will tell to all the applications that require location access that you are in that specified location. So this is actually quite cool. Now the buttons in here allow you to select which mode you have. This is the multi mode and this is the um, you know two mode in there and this is teleport mode. Basically changes your location to that specific point while this in here specifies a location from which you go to another and then this one here is an entire journey. Now I'm going to select this one for teleportation so I'm going to go ahead and change this one to Canada to to Quebec, so Quebec, Canada. So I'm going to make it believe that rather than being in Via Francesco Albani in there, I am in Quebec, Canada. So I'm going to press move in here and press move and that's it. Now my phone will believe that I'm actually in Quebec. So let me actually show you on the phone. Yes, it's that simple if you want to just change your location and if you want to create an entire journey, you can do so by pressing the button in here, search for the location and plan the route. And here you can actually change the speed and depending on the speed it tells you what kind of speed it is, you know, walking or going via a bike or motorcycle or whatever it is that, or via a car. Because it's impossible to go 36 kilometers an hour by walking, it's like, yeah, you can't. And of course the number of moves in there and the distance and stuff like that. And you can plan a specific trajectory on the map, so um, yeah, that's actually quite interesting. And as you can see right now, it simulates that it's moves. So if you go into the uh, Google Maps, it would believe that you're actually moving on that location, which is actually quite cool. You can fake actually walking or you can fake going by car from point A to point B, basically fooling any application with geo restrictions or, you know, social media and stuff like that. I'm going to press stop simulation in here and I'm going to go ahead in here on the program again and select again Quebec, but without a specific trajectory. So I'm going to have to unlock the phone again and I'm going to select a single location in here, search for Quebec and press move and now my phone will believe that I am in Quebec rather than Italy so let's go to the phone and check it out okay then let's see what's up as you can see I do have the location services powered on so that the applications can work and if I open the maps you can see here that it goes directly into the uh, location that I specified in this case it's loading but you're going to be able to see that it's basically Quebec so um, yeah let's see and there you go it says in here Quebec and now if I go ahead in Google for example on Google Maps in here it will go directly to the location I'm in, which basically is, again, 
Quebec. So let's wait for it to, to load the names. And there you go. Let me actually go. You can see I'm in Quebec. So each application believes that I'm actually in the fake location. So if I press the uh, little navigation button in here, it will go directly to this location, which is nowhere near Italy. And if I move the phone left or right, you can see that the thing actually moves. So it does believe you are in that location. Let me actually change it live though. I'm going to go to my computer and change it. I'm going to wait on the home screen in here. So uh, let me open Google Maps now. And it says that I'm in Quebec. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm in New York, New York. And I'm going to say that I'm in New York in here and press move and move. And as you can see, it instantly changed the fact that I was in Quebec and now I'm in New York in here and you can see exactly what's going on. And if I press the location in here, it goes directly to where it believes I am, which is the New York City Hall. If I go here on the computer and I change it to another point on the map, but still in USA, you're going to see exactly how it does change. And now I'm in a different location. And if I press the uh, navigation button in there, it goes directly to there. So yeah, in order to revert to the normal location of your phone, you have to reboot your phone or select it again from the computer using the any2 application. But this one is actually a very interesting application, a very good location spoofer that doesn't require a jailbreak, which is somehow of an odd thing. So yeah, that's basically it. Check it out in the description down below. I'm Geosnow and till the next time, subscribe to stay updated.